there's been a body discovered in Ashland City. Gloved and suited up, our investigators arrive. Who done it? That's what they're here to find out. It's not an actual crime involving a human, but it's real enough, part of a 4-H crime scene camp. Taylor Crutcher is team leader for this case. I really want to go into something on like the forensic sides of things, so I'm really interested in this camp because it's going to show me like what it's really like in real life. Or real death. The campers completely unearthed the remains of a decaying livestock hog. We'll spare you the close-ups, but in the heat of summer, rotting flesh looks and smells horribly. However, like real police, these stoic, grim investigators aren't phased. UT Extension coordinated the camp, where 4-H leaders wanted to give kids an appreciation for law enforcement. So I think it's great to, to teach kids at, you know, at a young age that they can be our friends and we don't have to be scared of the police, you know, um, that, that they're just doing their job and we should be doing what we're supposed to be doing. The kids learn a lot in this camp, mock traffic stops, fingerprinting, even interrogation techniques. It's a realistic look at law enforcement and the science behind solving a crime. I really like clearing rooms. That's one of my favorite things. Mm -hmm. What's that like? Um, it's really fun, actually, because you get to slice the pie and try to see where they are. And yeah, you check bad rooms. guys. <laughs> Campers learn from the experts, officers from the Cheatham County Sheriff's Department. Here they also meet retired canine Aries and see how a trained dog can take down a suspect. Oh, oh, that's a good boy! That's a good boy! There's classroom instruction too, including laws and the Constitution. And discuss what amendments apply to us in law enforcement because they have to have a basic understanding of what gives us the right to search, what is a seizure, what is probable cause, what is reasonable suspicion. Back outside, the digging goes on at the crime scene where the victim will eventually be hoisted out of the ground and put in a body bag. For these would-be CSIs, it's a chance to learn the science on the other side of this tape. This is Charles Denny reporting.